Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're, the, we're gonna be up against Satsu Hoang An, at the map King of the Hill. Now of course, before we start, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out from my channel. Let's go! Now the map is uh, kind of uh, big, but kind of favors both factions. Let's go! Wrong construction yard positioning. Very annoying. Okay, as the map was loading during this battle, I was not paying attention to the map itself. Lol. <laughs> okay, that was entirely my bad. Alright, so a vehicle factory. Going level 2 vehicle factory. And as I go ahead and try and get her those containers. Now, I was thinking to myself, what... I mean, how can I benefit from this supply, uh, construction yard? Meaning that I can build majority of my buildings right around here, factories, and then some of the uh, administrative facility um, buildings like around here. X facility, avia factory, and of course special vehicle factory for that dragonfly, special uh, porcupine, and the wasp, and then of course armadillo, and a bunch of riflemen from three barracks. Now I'm going to have to try and get her to containers, and then of course hide some infantry so long across the map to see any pending attacks that may come my way, especially the Seraphim and Ward of Vertex flanking your base from the sides while your army is in the middle of the map. Alright, so we fast forward by a bit here. Super container projected to appear right around this corner, and I'm going to have to try and obtain it as soon as possible. And that's where the Dragonfly and the Wasp will come in since they cannot actually be obstructed by any landscape as they are flying. Okay. Eh? Intercepting some of the assaults around here with the dragonfly, of course. They're both uh, the dragonflies are actually good, uh, quite decent when it comes to aviation or infantry, as they have machine guns and a rocket. There you go. Now this gives me the opportunity to get that super container, as I am not really obstructed by those assaults that are trying to get it. Okay, already got the super container. Hiding some infantry around this corner to prevent any attacks or view across the map. Now I got like hidden infantry around this corner of the base. So he's actually going for that Seraphim. Now I'm already going HQ level 3 and producing more porcupines. I'll have my initial units retreat as I don't really think that I can cause huge a huge chunk of damage to his base with my initial units. I'd rather use them to defend my base against the Seraphim and or anything that this guy will use against me. Fast forward once again. Seraphim is now in production. Okay, Typhoon, Seraphim already popped out. And uh, going level 3 research facility as I add more special vehicle factory as I'm expecting him to go Thors and Vertex. So... Three special vehicle factory, one primarily for chameleon and or a mammoth, second is for mammoth, and the third is for porcupines, or I can just completely spam three porcupines at the same time, or mammoths and so on. This guy is quite experienced as he had like that cyclone of scouting across the map to see if there is any hidden infantry that I have. Okay. Research facility upgraded to level three for that Leviathan. Preparing that chameleon production as I go into special vehicle factory level 2. Now keep in mind that I do have 3 dragonflies and 2 porcupines going 4 porcupines right around here. 2 porcupines and an armadillo wasp dragonfly around this corner. So my base is pretty much covered and I even have a jaguar here in the middle of my base. Leviathan is now in production. He is still trying to scout and the... Wow, okay. Well, basically, um, annihilate my units that are hidden. Now, keep in mind that that Seraphim no longer has his passive, so basically, that Seraphim already used up the passive. He even has a, uh, a Cerberus that I actually saw earlier. Okay. And that Seraphim is getting closer and closer to my base. Level 2 Special Vehicle Factory. I upgraded this one for it is actually a little bit closer there. And a Level 2 Special Vehicle Factory is actually quite tanky. Now, even though that the Special Vehicle Factory Level 3 is more tankier, I'd rather protect this the fact that it is for production of those 
um, chameleon. Now, as you may have noticed, there is a Cerberus around here that is trying to obtain the super container. Now, this Cerberus can only go so far as to activate the pa the active ability or use the active ability on the ground since he can't really do that on aviation units. Now, he is actually quite clever as to use one Cyclone so that the Cyclone can actually capture the brunt of the attack, but instead I microed my units to attacking the Seraphim instead of the Cyclone. Okay. But you're not going to get away as both of my uh, sides of the base are protected with anti-ear. Meanwhile, my army is uh, not, not really contested in terms of getting this super container. Now, I'm only waiting for the fact that he attacked with the Seraphim before I moved out of my base. Okay. So, I got plenty of meat bags here, two, two Avia Factory, and I'm, my base is all set up. Now, it's only a matter of completing my command points or maximizing my command points to its utmost abilities and or utmost limit. And then I'll go and prepare to dominate this or attack him anytime. There you go. Got that super container once again. He actually destroyed one of my uh, dragonfly. I'm going to have to get into position here to further my dominance. My dominance. And, ooh. Cerberus. Let's see. Using the dragonflies to, of course, deal damage against that Cerberus. But the passive did not really activate. My bad, and I don't want to. I don't really want to dive in there further since there there are lots of typhoons. Positioning my army right around here. Bam, bam! Oh no! Okay, he has a good formation right around that corner, and at this time, I chose to scout. He has like five typhoons. Spread my chameleons apart. Activated the passive or active skill of the Solaris right around here. And then some of the uh, Zeus are not covered by the shield. Acid burst. And then, right after, I'm going to have to use the Leviathan skill. So, moving my chameleon around to cover the units and, of course, not get fired upon. And, yeah. Bam. Not really a huge chunk of damage as the acid burst. Uh, the effect has already worn off. Using the active ability of the Seraphim. Again, I'm using an air raid boost to um, deal less damage or take less damage from that Seraphim. And how many porcupines are firing at that Seraphim? One, two, three, and four. So there's like four porcupines firing at that Seraphim and it's still alive. Okay. All the Zeus here he got like has been destroyed. And all that remains are Typhoons. Now, keep in mind, guys, that the Zeus will not really move to chase another target if there is a Dragonfly at fr in front of him. He will specifically target that Dragonfly until it's destroyed and not moving around. That is, if the Zeus were double tapped, just like what happened earlier if you replayed this video. Okay, and that again, Solaris. I'm gonna have to take this opportunity to attack that uh, Solaris and uh, lower down its HP down to the point where I can destroy it with aviation. Seraphim above that uh, mountain right there. I did not really manage to destroy that Seraphim. Alright, good riddance. Use the uh, recovery boost. Now keep in mind that I'm moving my army all the time to prevent any effective bombing runs I'm, as I am already expecting him to have Source with level 3 Avia Factory that can be scouted from that hidden infantry. Okay. And so, positioning my stuff around here. Using the scouting boost to see further. And uh, one hidden infantry is uh, actually moved out of the forest and saw. Mm. Okay now. So he has his army right around here and then Source at that docked airfield. Okay, now, let's see how we can do this. Okay. Activated the skill at the wrong target. Grazing my chameleons apart. And so I'm going to have to use the the uh, dragonfly along with the wasp here. And he only has like a the Solaris that's been badly bruised up. Just thanks to the shield. Well, that's why it's still alive. Okay, I'll use a dragonfly and the wasp to attack the airfield in order Thor's weakening it. To the point where I can easily destroy them. 
Vertex around here. Those stores already undocked. I moved my army around as soon as they undocked. And then he ended up bombing or grazing his own army by those stores. There you go. And now they'll have to replenish the re or refuel. And I'll take this opportunity to destroy that uh, Solaris. With the Dragonfly and the help of the Leviathan. Service jumping, annihilating a chameleon. Nuclear strike at those units that are not protected by the shield. And there you go. And at this point, can feds be can fed? Just double tapping. And there you go. And the shield is all that remains. Now, I still have majority of my army intact as you can see on my command points. Okay, and he's going to have to try and produce another Solaris. However, the mammoths are here to prevent that from happening. Okay, Thors are now going to undock once again. Jaguars are now going to have to focus on that X facility. Six porcupines managed to destroy two badly bruised up Thors. Mammoths actually laid waste on that uh, vehicle factory, or X facility rather. And then I'll have to demolish some power plants and the rest that I can do. Demolish here. There you go. Now no more Thors for you, my friend. Yeah. And at this point, it's clear as day as to who will win this battle if you look at the army composition or what I have against what the enemy has. Now again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming from my channel. Also, leave a comment down below as to what are your thoughts into this video. Likewise, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Oh, and don't forget to check out my previous videos. They do contain tips and tricks that can help you win a battle. I also have a guides playlist if you go to my channel home's homepage. Yay! GG. Bye now.